we started out with the large ship, which supports like a crew of four, but we always knew that some players would want to play either on their own or in a really small crew, and we wanted to find a way of supporting that. Yeah, you kind of have players that were trying to play by themselves on the large ship and yeah. sail around by themselves, but the ship was never designed for a single player to kind of man that ship because of the positions of all the interactables and, and how much kind of effort it was to sail that large galley. And it's, it was all designed to be like a crew based experience. So when we were making the small ship, we wanted it to feel significantly different to the large ship. So we started looking at how many um, degrees the ship's wheel rotates. So it only rotates 360 degrees rather than 720 degrees like the large ship. So it feels like a different experience. And then we looked at the kind of rudder strength as well to make it feel like it can turn on much kind of sharper angles so it can be much more nimble. We deliberately wanted the lone player to be able to do everything by themselves and, and efficiently so we changed the layout of the ship and the design and all of the thinking of it was around it being efficient for a lone player. Yeah so we kind of moved the position of the capstan to be kind of directly behind the wheel so that if the player was kind of manning the wheel to sail the ship and then for whatever reason they wanted to quickly anchor down maybe go onto an island they could just instantly kind of turn around and drop the anchor and then we wanted the sail length and sail angle ropes to be in and around the same area and we cut it down from kind of three masts with sails to a single mast with a single sail so that meant that all of the kind of controls and ship interaction points were all at the top like back yeah. of the ship all around the wheel so you could kind of freely like angle a sail go back on the wheel drop the capstan and, angle and it's a bit faster as well like raising the capstan's faster on the on the small ship as yeah well. that, that was really important like obviously on a large ship if another ship's approach and you're at an island you need to get going quickly everyone kind of communicates jumps on the anchor at the same time yeah. to raise it up whereas if a solo player's on a small ship they don't have that luxury so we wanted to kind of uh, level the playing field and make sure that they could raise the anchor and get away quickly but obviously it's not all just more efficient there are disadvantages to be on on a small ship as well because you've got to do everything yourself so if you get into a situation where you've got damage on the ship you've got to deal with that and still be steering the ship and thinking about what you're doing all at the same time so you're definitely a lot more vulnerable on the small ship yeah there's a real like coziness and a kind of excitedness to setting off on your own but at the same time like you're really wary and you're looking around on the horizon I think you're a lot more aware of seeing other ships in Absolutely, the world and you yeah. feel a lot more kind of apprehensive about approaching them you're as constantly well. kind of surveying the horizon looking out for, for ships because you know that if anything comes by you're gonna to have to manage that situation by yourself. Yeah. Although you're always going to be in a world with other players, yeah. you've now got the option to go um, sail solo. I think that's a really interesting dynamic, the fact that you're there by yourself but you're always in a shared world yeah. with other players. It's kind of like a nice intro into the game but you're always going to have these different experiences. You never know who's coming over the horizon. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you just saw, then please like and subscribe to our channel and check out some more of our weekly videos. And if you're interested in the game's development, then click the link down here and join our Insider program for a chance to play the game early. Don't worry, I'll, I'll just wait here. <laughs>